Roger, an extremely deadly hurricane is expected to make landfall in Tillamook, Oregon around 3.15 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. This superstorm is expected to be a Category 5. The Atlantic hurricane season runs from June to November, with the peak season happening between mid-August and late October. Hurricanes threaten the Gulf Coast, Florida and the Atlantic Coast every year. On average, there are six hurricanes, three of which are categorized as major, Category 3 or above, each year. Hurricanes are dangerous and can cause major damage because of storm surge, sturge, wind damage, rip currents, and flooding. They can happen along any U.S. coast. Storm surge is historically the leading cause of hurricane-related deaths in the United States. History provides important examples of the potentially dangerous impact hurricanes can have and the need to be prepared. The deadliest hurricane in U.S. history, referred to as the Great Galveston Hurricane, struck Texas in 1900s and resulted in an estimated 11,000 deaths. Since 1851, the top three states for hurricane landfalls are Florida, 114, Texas, 63, and Louisiana, 54, according to data from the Atlantic Oceanographic and Meteorological Laboratory in Miami. Hurricane Sandy caused 8.5 million power outages across 21 states, the highest outage total ever. 23 days after Hurricane Katrina, local utilities had power restored to only three quarters of their customers. And of course, in 2017, Houston was seriously impacted by Hurricane Harvey and had personal impacts for many of our Bulldog community. Houston is vulnerable when facing tropical storms. Houston, America's fourth largest city, with a metro population of more than six million people and is at risk of major devastation and massive loss of life from storm surges if a big hurricane were to hit. Houston is a very low-lying coastal plain with a clay-based soils that do not drain very well. The city is subject to heavy rainfall as well as flooding from tidal events. Additionally, large-scale developments such as apartments and office complexes, sh shopping malls and roads have added vast stretches of pavement to the Houston area. These expenses of concrete inhibit drainage and worsen flooding. As when heavy uh, downpours hit, the rain flows into other neighborhoods rather than into the soil. This superstorm is expected to be a category five hurricane. The intensity of a hurricane is measured by the Saffir Simpson hurricane wind scale. This rates the storms from one to five based on sustained wind speed and the potential property damage those winds can cause. A hurricane may be classified as category one if they have their usual speed of up to 74 miles per hour. Going up to category five, they may carry extreme speed and power with much more destructive ab ability. Sometimes even tropical storms can cause a lot of death, sometimes more than category three and four hurricanes. At other times, category three hurricanes can cause more damage than category five hurricanes. It all depends on the area that they make the landfall. If the coastal area is heavily populated, there is a high chance that the death toll will be high if a hurricane occurs. Hurricanes are not just a coastal problem. Rain, wind, water, even tornadoes could happen far inland from where hur a hurricane or tropical storm makes landfall. In many cases, the landfall is far from where people live and that makes the impact less destructive, even though it can still affect the wildlife and vegetation. Advised to remain in their homes, avoid traveling. You can't stop a tropical storm or hurricane, but you can take steps now to protect yourself and your family. If you live in areas at risk, the CDC encourages you to be prepared for hurricane season. Planning for hurricane season and other potential disasters can be stressful, and during the COVID-19 pandemic, your planning may be different this year. How to prepare, be aware. Your hurricane kit should include. A basic emergency supply kit could include the following recommended items. Uh, water, one gallon per person per day for several days. Food, at least three day supply for non-perishable food. 
battery powered or hand crank radio, flashlight, first aid kit, extra batteries. A whistle, a dusk mask, plastic sheeting and duct tape, moist towelettes, garbage bags and plastic ties, wrench or pliers to turn off utilities, manual can openers, local maps, cell phone, with chargers and a backup battery. Know your evacuation zone. You may have to evacuate quickly due to a hurricane. If you live in an evacuation zone, learn your evacuation routes, practice with household pets, and identify where you will stay. At the time of a hurricane, it's vital that you protect the humans in your family, but don't forget your pets. Make plans to ensure your pet safety before, during and after an emergency. Some disaster evacuation centres do not accept pets and animals. You should find out what type of shelters and assistance is, are available in your area to accommodate pets and to include pets in your disaster plan to keep them safe during an emergency. Prepare a pet disaster kit so evacuation will go smoothly for your entire family. Ask for your veterinarian to help in putting together your pet's veterinarian records. Make sure you have proper equipment for your pets to ride in the car. Carriers, harnesses and pet seat belts. Download the FEMA app and receive real-time alerts from the National Weather Service. This app will give you emergency safety tips and help you locate emergency shelters. Sign up for community alerts and be aware of the emergency alert system. Most importantly, you should not panic. Be aware and prepare.